everyone, this is Ubud and for today's videos, we're gonna be showing you all the features of the 271 engines on the C200 compressor from 2006 to 2010. So the Mercedes-Benz M271 was an inline four-cylinder petrol engine that was first introduced in 2002 and replaced the M111 engines. Manufacturers at the Mercedes-Benz plants in Stuttgart, Germany the M271 engines had a cast aluminum block with cast in iron cylinder liners and a cast aluminum cylinder head, factory split forged steel connecting rods, double overhead camshaft driven by a single roller change, independent intake and exhaust camshaft timing, and four valves per cylinder. The M271 engines has a conventional port injection. And besides all that, this M271 engine also has some characteristic features such as the supercharger. Mercedes-Benz is usually using the turbocharger for all of their engines, but with this compressor engine, it's using the superchargers driven by the belt. According to the supercharge, it will have two throttles, a normal throttle, honor intake, and a special boost pressure control flap actuators. We've made a very detailed video on what it is, how to test them, and even its affected on our accelerations. The boost will go through the radiator and into the second intake manifold. Then, this compressor engine will be monitored by this hot film mass airflow sensor which is located after the air filter. And before entering our intake manifold, we will also have a mass air pressure sensor to help monitoring our fuel efficiency. With that being said, we can see that this hot film air mass sensor is very cru crucial. If it malfunctions and therefore cannot output the exact amount of air mass, it will lead to the lean or rich air fuel mixture. We can also have a video on how to check it and its specifications on our playlist. You should watch it to get more information. And moreover, the M271 engines is having a system that will help heating the catalytic converter faster. Similarly to the M272 engines, but instead of using an air pump, the M271 engines will take the air directly from the intake airflow after the supercharger. The air then passed through a flap actuator which is operated by this solenoid. The ECM controls the operation of this solenoid in order to open and close the flap actuators to guide the air entering our exhaust manifold. This air helps heating up the catalytic at faster rate. Another thing is this M271 engine has conventional port injections. The spray pressure can be measured directly at this pipe with a specification within 3 to 6 kg. This is our fuel line coming from the low pressure fuel pump into the rails. And besides all that, this engine is not different from other engines. For example, this is the power steering pump for the hydraulic power steering, the coolant pump, and the generator, etc. So before checking out two throttles, let's take a look at the engine from front left. As you can see, the M16-6 is the throttle valve actuator, which every car will have it. But our main target is this M16-7, which is the boost pressure control flap actuator. So basically, the operation of this flap actuator is similar with the electronic throttle control. It alternately opens and closes the air flows into our intake manifold. When the boost pressure control flap is closed, the maximum boost pressure is made available to the engine. With full load operations, maximum boost pressure builds up. If the boost pressure control flap is open, the boost pressure air is guided back through the recirculated air line to the compressor. The boost pressure control flap can be adjusted continuously from 0 to 90 degrees and can regulate the boost pressure over the recirculated air line. So that is how this flap actuator works. 
So that is all about the M271 engines from the C200 compressor. It still has some different features, but in general, it's kind of similar with all the conventional engines. While watching these videos, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us and we will help you as soon as possible. Till then, we hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.